One of the most powerful steps in Parabola is the if-else step that allows you to translate complex if-else logic from your process documentation and Excel formulas into a really easy to read step. As I drag the if-else step onto the canvas, you'll see on the left-hand side, we can either create a new column or update existing values in a specific column based on custom rules that we set up. In this example, I'm going to create a column called order value, which we'll see appear on the right-hand side here. And the sample rule that I want to do here is if the revenue from a line item was greater than $100, then we want to make it high. If it's between 50 and 99, we'll go medium, and less than 50 is low. So in this example, I'll say if our revenue is greater than or equal to 100, then I want it to be high. And you'll notice that the way that we type out this logic is basically the exact same way that you would speak it out loud. And now let's say we wanna take it a step further. What if it's not just one rule, but it's multiple rules? We can also add an additional condition here where maybe I wanna say, and our skew value is not blank. And now we'll evaluate both of those rules when we are performing our if else determination. Now, the second rule we wanna add here is if our revenue is between 50 and 99, then we want our value to be medium. And now before we keep rolling, worth calling out that there are a lot of additional options in here to really make this step custom to your logic. Maybe we want to apply a math formula in a specific step to say if x plus y is greater than this, then apply a certain output. Or maybe we want something to be case sensitive in certain cases. Now, once we have defined our rules, if something is not high and it's not medium, then we want it ultimately to be low. So as I show updated results here, you'll notice that all of our results are printed on the right hand side and we can see all of our low, medium and high orders. Now, while this was easy enough to set up, you also always have the option of just pasting information from your process documentation right into the configure with AI step, which will get us to the exact same output. Now to put this step to the test, check out the building challenge below and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.